Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty well. What about you? I'm doing great too. It's funny how I hear you. Can you hear me well? Uh, yep. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Someone is driving under the rain. Be careful, please. Is it raining still? I think it is. So, <coughs> good evening. How are you, Fernando? I'm great. Choking. Good. Were you here on Friday? I can't remember. Oh, I didn't. Oh, what happened? Uh, in my company, uh, well, well, they, they were on, on birthday. So they, they invite, invite, invite us to uh, a dinner for celebrating. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but it wasn't your birthday. It wasn't was someone else's birthday. Oh, no, no, yes, for, for the company, company. Oh, uh, the company's anniversary? Yes, 16th anniversary, anniversary of the company. 16th anniversary, wow. Oh, that was good then. Christmas coming, everybody's going on parties. Very nice. We're just eight right now. Okay. Guys, uh, you, you may start the class. Remember, you have to speak, not me. What's the topic? What happened during the weekend? During my weekend, I work Saturday and Sunday. Really? Both days? Yes. Yes, because I made a I made a swap the way that they mentioned in the call center, as you know, with another girl. Mm -hmm. I need it Friday. Oh, that's good. So I need to work the whole day on Sunday, but uh, it's not good. Not work from seven to five p.m. Mm. Oh, seven to five. Seven a.m. An... to five p.m. Yes, that's an the whole awful. Awful schedule. Hey, but at least you got you got the day off you needed. Yes, but yes, on Sunday. Were there many calls? On Sunday. Yes, because there are less people than during the week. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what happened to me? Um, you know how sometimes customers complain and sometimes they actually um congratulate you we call it we call it a wow call in the company we call it a wow call and i had this lady you know the the department that i work for nobody gets compliments you know from customers and it's because everybody who calls to the call center um to that department is because they they are reporting that their money was stolen right so i had this lady uh, complaining about her money being stolen, but I was like, hey, how's your day, right? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going good. I have a football match with my kids. So we started talking, you know, having a conversation, and she had a, an odd situation where everything was solved. The thing is that I solved her situation, and at the end of the call, she was like, hey, is your supervisor available? And I was like, yeah, sure, why? Um, can I talk to him? Sure. It's okay. Okay. Con thank you very much. I mean, you were awesome. So I want to talk to him. Uh, that sounds good oh, for me. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Right. And I transferred her and she said that I was amazing and I did a great job. And someone from human resources heard the call and, and this person, the, the boss, I mean, the boss of the boss of the boss of human resources heard the call. And when I came back to work, the next day I found an email 
congratulating me and saying, please give $100 to Rafael for that call. That was the first. $100? Excuse yeah. me. Uh, I yeah. am so jealous because in my company, we mentioned that positive feedback when a customer mm -hmm. mentioned, hey, Jocelyn, you did a good job. Can you transfer to a supervisor? I asked for a supervisor and they mentioned that is good one. Uh, another supervisor listened to the call and they provide me a gift card, but just ten dollars, and you are receiving one hundred dollars. I, am so uh, I know, no, I mean it's not like the standard. It's, it's just something because it was the first time that someone gave a compliment in this department. So everybody oh. was like, "How did he do it? Right? How is that possible?" I mean, we receive calls to complain all the time, you know, and people think that we steal their money. Teacher, and, and when she said that she needed to talk to your supervisor, how did you feel? I knew. I knew that she couldn't be upset. I mean, she was very happy. I don't get escalations. I don't get escalations. And if I get escalated, I know how to de-escalate de the client, you know, go like, oh, don't worry. I mean, you need to talk to a supervisor. That, well, they will do the same, you know. Um, I will recommend you to do this, this, and that. And I go like, Okay, yes, you're right. I should wait and or I just convince them, you know, I sell them, I sell them the plan. Hey, let's wait another week for this. And if things don't come up all right, we escalate it to another supervisor. Okay. And they go like, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's just your your how do you say this? Your mood as a person has to do a lot. How you talk, how you speak over the phone has to do a lot with customer service. So I just let them vent. That's very important. You know what is venting? What is to let someone vent? No. Escape. Yeah. Escape. Alexander, explain, yeah. a, explain a little bit more. Vent. It's like, uh, it's like a tube when you again in yeah it's something like that mm. vent is like yeah in the customer service um what in the content customer service context what is vent venting not the noun the action of letting someone vent the action jocelyn yeah. Tell me. What is venting? Letting someone vent, to let someone vent. Mm, how do you spell B as in Victor? V E as in V E N T. Victor Echo Nancy Tango. You don't know? No idea, teacher. Okay. Yes. And this applies for marriage as well. Let your wife vent, let your husband vent. Oh my God, I'm tired of the kids. I'm tired of everything. Just listen. Just listen. Take notes. Take notes if you can. Just listen. Take notes. Okay. And then when they breathe, then you go, okay, I'm sorry to hear that you feel this way. It's my fault, most likely, or is our fault. We understand. Um, I've been in your situation. Let me help you right now, okay? Let's figure this out together so we can resolve the situation, okay? And that's venting. You just let them speak. Ventilar, chicos. Yeah. Okay. Let them go. Let them release the stress, you know, with customers. Angry customers, that is the key. That is the key. Just let them vent and think it's not your fault. It's never your fault. In any discussion, we are humans. Just let people vent. Keep the chill. Hey, that's another one. Keep the chill. Hey, keep the chill. Don't get stressed. You know what's keep the chill? Mantén la calma. Stay calm. That's right. Stay calm. Okay. Don't frustrate. Don't get frustrated for anything. Nothing in the world can frustrate you. Okay. Things become your problem when you let them be your problem. Okay. Think about it. Let me do the attendance before we proceed with the main question that I always make at the beginning of our class. 
Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, doctor. Present. <laughs> Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Ed. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Ed. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Welcome. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Awesome. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Welcome. Did you make it home? Oh, no, she's driving. <laughs> she's still driving. Okay. Be careful, please. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Not Johnny today. Okay. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. There's Johnny. Present the teacher. Oh, thank you. Okay. Jose Antonio Cubias Hernandez. Don't see him. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Awesome. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Luis Ernesto is not here and it's his turn to stay after the class. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. There he is. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Looking pretty. <laughs> Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. Werner. Werner is not here today. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. What's up? Sidewise. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Not here yet. Carolina Ived Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Not yet. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, she's lost. God, okay. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Not here yet. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. I saw René somewhere. No. Present teacher. There he is. Hey, okay. thank you. Present. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Nope. Okay. Present. Yeah. Where are you? I couldn't see you. Oh, I see you. Thank you. Okay, guys. So I have a challenge for you right now, just to start the conversation. Same topic I was uh, coming up with. There's a purpose for our conversations every time, you see. I want you to tell your classmates the most difficult situation you ever had with a customer. The most difficult situation you ever had with a customer. Teacher, but I don't deal, I don't deal with customers, teacher. I don't deal with customers. Okay, are you sure? You know the difference between internal customers and external customers? Can somebody tell me what is the difference between internal customers and external customers? It's simple. Jose Alberto? Andres, people who aren't here talking too much. What is the difference between internal customers and external customers? So, my, my dog is with noise. <laughs> it's, like, it's noisy right now. Don't worry, I showered my dog today because he's on his second, how do you say muda de pelo? Oh my God, Google, we miss you on Friday now, I remember. Caroline was talking about you, I remember now. Yeah, she was like, Fernando is not here, teacher. I was like, oh yeah. No, uh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Shed hair. What? Shed hair. Oh, okay, my shit, my shit, can you spell, can you type it on, so, oh my God, on the Zoom chat, that sounds weird. Okay, <laughs> okay. yes, 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 yes. Yes, I please, to avoid misunderstandings. Shit, her. 
Oh my God. Oh, shed, shed her, right. S-H-E-D, shed her. So, okay, shed, 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 be careful. Okay, Just. so my dog is a husky, right? So he sheds hair twice or three times a year. And it's crazy. Now that he's over two years old, he's shedding a lot of hair. I mean, I've never seen him shedding so much hair. Today I showered him and the, the, the bowl, the shed bowl was like this, like this, like, like the size of my head. I couldn't believe it. And then I showered him. And after I showered him, I took another small bowl, you know. I was like, oh my God, how do you do this, right? <laughs> it's crazy. So, okay, going back to the business. Internal customers. If you don't deal with customers, you do have internal customers. And there's one very important internal customer, your boss. Your boss is the most important internal customer in your company, right? Do you, do you think you got it? Your collaborators, your coworkers, I mean, if you have a secretary, all of them are your internal customers. Be careful. External customers, of course, the ones that you attend, that you take care of indirectly or directly. If you face them or not, that's your job. They're the last... They're the last part of the chain. How do you say Slavon? Sergu? <laughs> oh, come on, teacher. <laughs> Akora. <laughs> the Slavon. Link. Link. Link, really? Yes, the chain Slavon. link? Chain link? Uh, it's like a for enlace vincular relation, Slavon. I don't know. Really? You... Is there a second option? Uh, no. Let me yeah. try with deep, deep. Chain link, chain link. Yeah, chain link, that sounds right. Okay, so they are the last chain link in your company, your external customers. So think about it. Let me give you an example really quick. 2007, 2007, I'm taking a call for the airline for US Airways and this, redneck general terms this is not discrimination okay if you're watching this video this is not discrimination okay it's just general culture in the united states a redneck is someone from texas who believes he is the god in earth okay a redneck is someone perfect he believes he's perfect so that's a redneck so i got this call from this redneck this person from texas complaining because he couldn't he couldn't create a username and a password on the website and i think i go, i gave you this story before the thing is that my call lasted two hours two hours of my life just letting him vent letting him vent saying bad words swearing how do you say maldecir in english Course. Uh, course. Course. You can say swearing, saying bad words. The, the customer was saying bad words to me, you know, swearing. He was swearing. Okay. No swearing. Swearing is bad. Okay. Saying bad words is the same thing. So he was coursing. He was swearing. He was saying bad words for two hours. You know what happened at the end of that call? He was happy. And he said, hey, son, how the hell did you manage to talk to me for two hours and just listen to me throwing all that to, to you, throwing all these problems to you and you managed to stay calm? Because for two hours, I was like, yes, sir. I understand. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay. You have your username, your password. Is there anything else that I can do for you? And he was like, ah! two hours later, he was like, man, I just can't believe you took all that. And he said, 
May God bless you, son. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. So that was difficult. I mean, two hours. And it was at midnight. I was working from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. So let's say I took the call around 12.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30 in the morning, I finished that call. That was crazy. I never forget that call. It was the most difficult case in my scenario. What about you? What was the most difficult situation with a customer that you had faced? I'm going to write it for you. I should say, what has been the most Hmm. Hmm. Must, must, yeah, must. Be careful with why, must. Uh huh. Why do you sacrifice your AST? <laughs> I had to. I had to, buddy. I was floor support back then. So back in the most difficult um, customer. What should I say? What? How does it sound? What has been the most difficult customer? service situation you've ever been yeah there you have what has been the most difficult customer service situation you've ever been to i miss there's something missing in that question i'm sure ¿Cuál ha sido la institución de servicio al cliente más difícil en la que has estado? En la que has estado? Okay, so go ahead, think about it, make your example, give your example to your classmates, have a conversation as usual so we can warm up. Caroline, what is warm up? Uh, teacher. What is warm up? I don't remember. Oh, come on, you go to the gym? There you go, Training. thank you, beautiful Spanish. Okay. Let's do it. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's go. Johnny, Caroline, Juan Francisco, let's go. Uh, I guess that we are going to talk about the most difficult customer service situation you ever been to. Yes. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh... My customer are other, other department. Uh, I had a strong argument with uh, had of other department because they were asking for for something that didn't that didn't correspond to me. Uh, uh, I I. I could uh, to explain what the, the situation and there and then my my boss uh, um, my boss um, um, represented me uh, and explain what is the situation because the, there are, there are many activities. Uh, I didn't because I don't have in my in job description and then um, explain and and uh, what is the problem and and the solution then with uh, boss uh, boss with my boss uh, solution of my my problem in my case that's it Okay, in my case, I remember that I had a problem. I um, well, that it wasn't a problem. Just I was working on a project, 
And I remember that the manager of the, that project told, told us, if you have other requirement, you, you must to tell me before to do it. And we we did this activity. We 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 followed those instructions. The instruction that the the minor project project told us, and suddenly appear a problem with the other area, and it was a uh, a problem with um legal 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 requirement and i remember that the first time i told the new uh, the that customer at uh, that user i can because i am working with a with a project and i need to finish it before to go to to take other other requirement and when I suddenly I received email from many areas asking me uh, how long need to resolve that time that 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 problem, and and, and that's why I I stopped working in that activity in and I began to work with that new requirement. When I called the project manager, he told me, don't worry, do it. <laughs> uh, that was a problem, but it was uh, something really difficult. Hey, try to apply the vocabulary that I'm giving you. Those activities okay. were out of my scope of support. The scope of support is exactly what Elvin was describing the responsibilities okay. on your yes. position, the responsibilities of each position on your job description. Uh, project manager, not manager, project, no, project manager. Um, before going into another task, before moving into another task, before jumping into another task or onto another task. Beautiful, great job, keep it, keep it up. At the end, I say, you. Know, if you want that I finish quickly, you have to give me the all the sheets, but earlier, not at this time. So I take a breath and I do that, but in my time. I don't care if you have to go late because it's your fault. It's not my fault. Uh, and uh, he was so angry with me, but I don't get it. Yeah, that was not my fault. And okay. that's all. Okay. When did you have any that problem? When did you have any that problem? Sule. Sule. <laughs> Hola. When do you have that problem? Um, uh, around what? Uh, ten years. Ten years ago. Now I have another kind of problem, but not um, nothing special. Nothing big. I don't know if someone else can okay, for me, share. Okay, I will share something. For me, okay. I all the time I listen the costume all the time, but uh, in my work, do you know what is uh, emotional intelligence? The emotional intelligence is like you have a control. In my job, 
No? I have to be uh, in control and all the all the customer had a problem. All the customer want to be a fast. And now I try to explain my my staff how to will be the control men with the customer. Because all the customer are angry, all the customer the customer want to be the fastest possibility, yes. But <clears throat> I had one, one thing in my mind. You have three relationships in your, in your life. The first is your family. The second is the <clears throat> professional. And the three with the customer, the relation customer, I the name is commercial, commercial relationship. Is do you have a heart with the customer? Only you will be a happy. Yes. Only that. I try to be happy with the, all the customer. I try to be uh, I try to do that the customer wants. And for me, it's normal that all the person are angry in my life because in El Salvador we have a so strong stress. Yeah, only that, guys. Okay. Okay, there was an old guy giving a conference and he became rich, he became popular. He owned he owned a restaurant in the States. He owned a restaurant in the States and he became famous because he used to go all across the United States giving this conference called his customer conference, his customer service conference called Give Them the Pickle. Give them the pickle. Okay. Dale el pepinillo. Mm -hmm. Súper rápido. Él solía dar pepinillos gratuitos en su restaurante. En cada mesa había un bote con pepinillos. Y un día alguien cambió la política en una de las um, branches, en una de las sucursales, y empezaron a vender los pepinillos así que a cinco centavos cada pepinillo. Y un cliente se disgustó mucho, un cliente que tenía 20 años de llegar al mismo restaurante todos los días casi a comer lo mismo todos los días por los benditos pepinillos. Solo se comía uno o dos, pero esa era su afición, el sabor de los pepinillos. Y se quejó con él. Y una carta extensa porque ella nunca más regresaría al restaurante. Y desde ahí surgió la conferencia que en imparte. Give the customers what they want. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, it's very interesting. You can Google it. I think it's in, it's in YouTube that conference, give them the pickle. It's very funny. It's an old guy. Okay, keep going. Who else is missing to speak? Um, in my case, teacher, my customer is the patient and the most difficult situation with my client is the trying to reach and the agreement uh, with me the college in the relation to the agnostic and not agreeing to explain to the patient and family must the complicated diagnostic is a uh, difficult uh, <laughs> consolidate porque siempre hay consolidate uno que mm -hmm. siempre hay más de algún college is college college uh -huh. no está de acuerdo is a is a uh, sometimes is very, very, very common and enter, enter college. And Basically, my customers are the patients and the most difficult situation is to explain the diagnostic of the patient to the patient and his family. And so the difficult part is to agree with your colleagues before you explain the diagnostics 
to the to the patient and the the family. I know I I saw Grey's Anatomy. It's really difficult. I mean that that specific moment. Oh my God, it's gonna be really difficult. I don't know how you can do that, right? I can say the tripas corazón the way they say that. Wow. It's going to be crazy. Okay, let's keep going. I think we have the, some examples. Let's look at some in the main room. See there. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody's coming back. Okay, well, we wait for the others. Um, well, yes, Erwin is missing here and Jose Alberto. Um, well, we wait for the others. I'm going to ask the rooms that I didn't visit. As you may know, part of my job with you is to go around each room visit you and say hi how are you on good right no just listen and correct listen to areas of improvement and correct them so but i didn't visit three rooms i was i just stood with two of the rooms so i need the opinion or an example or if you if any questions came out for example in in the two groups that i visited there were some words that you may not know you know um there are many ways to say things, right? So I didn't care. I don't care. Nothing out of this world. Well, it was nothing out of this world. It wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. Um, I'm, gringos, gringos say, eh, not a big deal. And give up. It's not a big deal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's not a big deal. In my job, try to say not, don't say in my work, not you say in my job. Uh, all customers want you to be as fast as possible. And let me see, I interested the customers. Um, I recommended um, Erwin, a video that I remember regarding customer service, and it's called Give Them the Pickle. You, you may find it like give them, give them, apostrophe, give them the pickle. Later, give them the pickle. It's like a conference on customer service. I don't know if you will find it available on YouTube. I remember it, there was some copyrights. Give them the pickle. Give customers what they want. It's very important. And a phrase that I remember: the activities on your scope of support. Your scope of support. You know what is a scope of support? No, is the, the responsibilities on your um, job position. The responsibilities that are yours. For example, if your responsibility is not opening the door for customers, do you do it? Of course, right? If your responsibility is not answering the phone that is ringing for 30 minutes, do you do it? No. No, <laughs> it's not my job, right? Yeah. It's not my job. That's that's it's Caroline's job. job. Let let her do it. Go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Can somebody really quick explain me this? Go the extra mile. Work for free. <laughs> Work for free. No. Yes. <laughs> In this country, yes, yeah. That's yeah. Yes. Go it's worthless. It's worthless. It's not worthless. Every effort you make to make someone smile is always a good effort. In if some not, company? if not, look at me. Look at me. I'm always like pushing you to speak. I'm not supposed to do it. It's not my responsibility. Okay. My responsibility is to come and teach technical English. And I want to make sure that you speak. Am I doing right or wrong? Aha! Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but 
But you love what, what you do. Don't you? You love what you do. Don't you do? Yeah. So? Yeah, but I, in some companies, it's difficult. Yeah. Uh, there's always ways, guys. There's always ways to do the best out of whatever you're doing. Just do your best. And keep in mind, someday you won't be there. If you really want to be somewhere else, do your best right now. Don't wait. Oh, I'll do my best job when I get my dream job. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see here. Jumping into moving forward. Okay, let's move forward. So next group, I want to hear an example of a customer service difficult scenario. Difficult scenario from Carolina, Yvette, or Johnny, or Luis Ernesto, or Jocelyn Imelda. Then I go with group number four, Andres, Fernando, Wendy, and William. And then I go with room five, which was Josue, Juan Francisco, Rene, and Roberto Luis. Ready? Go. What? Miguel is like, what? What? <laughs> Who's gonna talk? Okay, I'm waiting for Carolina, Johnny, Luis, or Jocelyn to give an example of their conversation in the group. Well, in my case, um, I was telling telling to my to my classmates um, when I was a human human resource, uh, a very um, upset girl or bother girl. She was bother. Um, she she came saying uh, even incoherent incoherent things. She even came to close to close to my com to my computer because usually is from to to from. Uh, it was my first time like uh, like this in my in this situation, so I didn't know how to act, how to react. Uh, obviously, my boss came to 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 observe or supervisor, and she was um, watching us, watching watching just in case because. Her frustration, uh, she was upset because she couldn't find a job. Um, had, had, been, had been trained badly uh, in other place. So she, she didn't speak but specific with bad words, but I don't know. I don't know how to describe, but she was to be close to the violence. Um, from that experience, uh, I learned to listen to people. I'm not a patient person, but uh, in this case, I learned some about about that. Uh, she, I, she came down. So I did the the procedure. Um, however. Uh, she she already had a, a history uh, about her acti actil. Mm. Uh, so in specific with customers, uh, now I work, I'm working with customers, but I don't have at the moment I don't have the bad experience. Hey, good job. I can hear myself. <laughs> Someone's got me on a big speaker. Um, at the moment, I haven't had experienced a bad situation. I don't know. I haven't had a bad experience. I haven't had I haven't experienced a bad situation. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no this is not bad it's just listen congratulations you're using more vocabulary carolina i'm so happy 
to hear this because I heard some connectors that you were mm -hmm. not using and that's really good. You sound really pro now. I love that. I was telling just the preposition. I was telling my classmate. I was telling my classmates when I was. So, uh, and you said when I without was. Without the preposition. Without the preposition. That's right. Oh. I was telling my classmates. I was going home. I was. The, after ING. You don't use the preposition. Mm, okay. After going home. After sleeping. On my bed. There you go. You may use. Okay. Mm. When I was a human resources specialist, okay. Specialist. Mm -hmm. She was talking in coherence. Uh, she was talking incoherently. She was talking nonsense. An American will say she was talking nonsense, you know. Um, nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. Okay. She was watching us. She was staring at us. She was staring at us. Okay. Okay. She was about to become violent. You were trying to say that uh, she she was about to become violent. Mm -hmm. I learned to listen to people, and this is an observation. That's experience, and this is called people skills. If you have people skills, you're good at customer service. Same, right, Jocelyn? Right, okay. Alexander? Get people skills. Yeah. <laughs> It's very important. Okay, she calmed. This is a um, an area of improvement. She calmed down. She calmed, calmed down. Calmed, calmed down. With the the calmed, right. Uh, calmed, calmed, calmed. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Next, attitude. Attitude. Leave that attitude. Repeat. Leave that attitude. Leave the attitude. There you go. At the moment. I haven't had, or at the moment, I haven't experienced a bad situation in my position. So, so at the moment, I haven't had. I haven't, haven't had. had. No he tenido. Mm -hmm. Enough. I haven't had, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, enough. Okay. Good. Enough. <laughs> okay. Next. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, number four, Andres, Fernando, Wendy, and William. One of your experiences? Uh, okay. Uh, in my case, uh, around three years ago, uh, uh, we, we uh, my team and me, we were in a, in a development from a, a customer and we were uh, around 2 a.m. and the customer was upset because this this day, uh, no, that day, uh, that day uh, uh, was the, the, the delivery to the, to, the, to the customer, the real customer. Uh, the, the developers, uh, we, we, don't, we didn't have the, 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 the guilty, but uh, the customer uh, was complaining very upset with us at, at 2 a.m. We, we were like, uh, what? We, we, we did the, the development well, but uh, our project management maybe don't coordinate the, the delivery uh, correctly. So that, that is maybe the worst. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> experience about my job that okay that was fast and that was clear okay that was the delivery that was that day was the deadline deadline the What's deadline the to deliver the project the development uh there's got to be another word for when you develop a program the project, it was a project. Yeah, the the project. customer was complained, very upset with us, you said. Okay. The customer was complaining about- Complaining, yes, complaining. Mm -hmm. Complaining 
very upset with us. Okay, our project management, guys, you're doing this. Uh, our project management didn't coordinate the delivery properly. Our project manager, mm -hmm. our project manager didn't coordinate delivery properly. Okay, yeah, deadlines. Uh, deadlines are very important when you work with projects, right? You got your point. Yuri was talking about that, I think. Project manager. Project management is different. Okay, and last one. Josue Alberto, Juan Francisco, Rene Alfonso. Well, uh, uh, it was in my job. I have uh, internal customer because I I am a system operator in a graveyard chip uh, six months ago. I have a problem because we had um, electrical cool up not programming and our uh, scanner, the name of the scanner is HCBM. Uh, was a uh, power uh, was was turned down because the UPS have an, an alarm for that situation. I used the transfer the electrical uh, red to the emergency generator, but the generator uh, don't generate uh, for 100 volts, just generate to uh, 200 volts. And our scanner doesn't work with that uh, energy. And I call, I call the uh, maintenance leader and they told me that I shall to uh, make a report. Um, Sometimes I usually uh, call my branch manager, but my branch manager was in, in vacation. And I make a report uh, because uh, we don't have uh, electrical uh, energy. Uh, our UPS doesn't work and our Elect emergency generator doesn't work too. And uh, three or five hours later, I received a call from my, my general manager of the company and asked me about uh, what's going on with with uh, the machine for, for because they read a report and I forget to uh, call him because we, if our our boss that doesn't work is not working, I I need to uh, answer for make any report because it was a bad problem with what because my company has a, a contract with the government uh, in that uh, clause. Uh, the, the scanner is child to work uh, to 24 7 and if for that reason we have a ups and uh, emergency generator but in this this day we, we child to do our data report and but uh, the problem was that i forgot to call uh, to my 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 boss and they told me you remember that you need to uh, call me it doesn't matter what time it is because uh, i have the problem uh, at 12 a.m and for the reason i forget to call him oh my god okay man it was an emergency okay yeah. let's see repeat system operator system, system operator, operator. Graveyard shift, graveyard shift. Graveyard shift. Shift. 
Shift. Okay, let's do it together. Shift. Shift. Uh, shift. Shift. Uh huh. There you go. Shift. Do shift. it again. There you go. Shift. shift. Good job. Or equipment was shut down. Or equipment had an outage. Everybody had an outage. Had an outage. Alexander, Jocelyn. Oops, I had an outage. <laughs> right? all, the, all the time. All the time. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. Oops, I did it again. There, ha there has been an outage. Our system had an outage. Our equipment had, had an outage. An outage is no power. We run out of power. We run out of electricity. We run out of, that's a phrasal verb. To run out of something. Um, hey, generator. Repeat, generator. Generator. Okay, our generator or didn't generate the necessary voltage. Our generator didn't generate the necessary voltage. Repeat, liter. Liter. There you go. It's like lit litro in English, liter. Same. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, you didn't mention this at the end. Sometimes, sometimes. Be careful, guys. Everybody, many of you are doing that. Was on vacations, not was in vacation. He was in vacation. No, he was on vacations. Okay. Everybody, everybody. Electric generator or electrical generator or electricity generator. Check it out. We didn't have electric. We, had, we didn't have electric. We didn't have electricity. We didn't have electricity. And the difference to before a verb, for before a noun, for making any report or to make any report. Da, 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 da. Yep. Last thing you said 24 7. Repeat, Andres. I'm sorry, Josue. 24 7. 24 7. There you go. It's Better. correct to use that. No, it's just you said. Because said, in Spanish, we, we use that, but I don't know if it's the same. It's, okay. in it's the same. I work 24 7. You work 24 7. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. Good job. Okay, guys, let's move it. Let's keep going. Before we continue and start with the topic for today, I just want to do the attendance. We're missing two minutes. Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elvin Garcia Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. She was there. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Johnny's having problems with his internet connection. Oh, yeah. He's frozen now. Okay, Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Also, Alberto Salas Benitez. Present. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Is there? You, thank you, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Excellent. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Would you please stay 10 minutes tonight? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de, en, de Hernández. Present. Él iba a poner de Enrique. <laughs> Sorry. Alan Christopher Abreu Orizuela. Not here today. Where's Alan Caroline? I don't know. Maybe work. He's working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanet. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Okay. So, 
our main topic in this class, in this module uh, for the first two units has been the marketing mix. We already talked about it. We have kind of understood what is the four P's or the four C's, right? Now, this whole hour, you've been talking about something very important. Now, I have another question for you. What is important on the marketing mix? I mean, think as a company. Right now, you are the owner of a company, of a growing company. When you start, you know that the marketing mix, at this point, you understand that the marketing mix is, this, is in a strategy, right? It's in a strategy to, to position your product, to sell your product. So among the marketing mix, as a business owner, what is the most important thing for you? Is it money? To sell your product? To give a service or a new product to the market? To remain on the market? Or just to make a lot of money? What is it? What's your goal? Give a good service. Why? Because in that way you are going to get more clients. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if your product is good, Luis Ernesto? What do you think? What if your product is good? Good enough. Um, I don't know, teacher. Maybe the same like uh, Jory says, to, go to, to give a good quality, good service, mm. to stay a lot in the market. Okay, what do you think, Heidi? I wish I could have both give a good service or sell a good product and make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, in the end, guys, it's true. As a company, as a business owner, you want to do both. But what's the most important thing in reality as a business owner? That's a difficult question, right? What will you sacrifice? Will you sacrifice some earnings just to give a good, good customer service? Would you? I think you have to do it. In the end, there's yeah. a chance, right? Yeah. Yeah, because if you provide good customer service in the end, people will always think about you before your competitors. There's a big chance that your customers will go like, oh no, I prefer to go with Jocelyn because she's very, she treats me, she treats me. I feel like home when I go to Jocelyn's company. I love the way they treat me. So I'll go back. I'm going back, so, definitely. So customer satisfactions. Customer satisfaction, yes. Satisfaction. Satisfaction, that's right. So in this class, describe the achievements of effective branding for the company. Hmm. Okay. Effective branding for the company. Really quick. The most lucrative and creative um, marketing mix, the most, or the marketing campaign, I should say, the most creative and effective marketing campaign ever conducted, and the most millionaire or billionaire campaign was driven by, who do you think? No idea? Who do you think? has enough money to invest on the development on the most of the most aggressive and successful marketing campaign in the world. Think about a world company. Coca-Cola. Hey, you got it. <laughs> yes. Okay, you, mm -hmm. you saw the presentation already. No, I <laughs> I've talked a lot about Coca-Cola in this class. Yes, you don't have an idea how many, look at the Prezi, the, the presentation that I have uploaded for you guys. That video, I mean, they invested on 
development on research, what is something that people love to do, something that will touch, and that was the key. That word, a touching ad, a touching, a touching ad on TV. Every Christmas, what do you see on TV? From Coca-Cola. Santa Claus. For Santa, right? The bears. And the bears. <laughs> right? Polar bears. Is that moving? Black bears. Okay, let's take Christmas out of the context. What's the last commercial you remember about Coca-Cola? The polar bear. Other than Christmas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. The polar bear, not Christmas. With, okay. Actually, it's in Christmas. Okay, out of Christmas, out of the Christmas context, forget oh, about okay. the birds and Santa. What in other the summer. commercial? The summer? In the summer, yeah. When I like the last Coca Cola in the world. Oh, that, there's even a saying, right? Oh, you think you're yeah. the last Coca Cola in the world, Caroline? <laughs> you're the last Coca Cola in the world, in the desert. Yeah, it's true. We even adapted to our language. Okay, another one. Come on, come on. Do you have to remember? There are a lot. I remember the ones uh, with the cats uh, looking for my name on the can. Oh, remember? your name on the can. Yes. Did you find your name? No, I didn't. Why? I don't know. You don't know? That is because know. that is because they um, oriented this campaign to Latin America just with Latin American names. Haiti is not a Latin American name, let's say. Eugenia, maybe. Rafael, Antonio, yes. Alexander, mm, I don't know. Jesus, yes. Carolina, maybe. Yvette, I don't think so and so on. Jury never found his can of soda of Coca-Cola with his name, I'm sure, and so on. So Coca-Cola has always played with our feelings. How do you feel when you see your name on a can? <laughs> you feel like awesome, right? Oh my God, I'm in a can. That's crazy. Okay, and then they joined that campaign with a second one that was not here in El Salvador. They made two little cans. So you go to the vending machine. You know what is a vending machine? Of course, teacher. Yes. You put a coin on that yes. machine. You put okay. a coin on it and you get something, right? Did I write it? No, vending machine. Um, it gives you product, okay? in exchange of some coins. So one can, you flip it around, you flip it and you get two cans to share with your best friend, to share with your best friend. That was the campaign. Share love, share the love, share the flavor, share, I don't know, the addiction, share the addiction. <laughs> okay. Because, because the Coca-Cola awakens the emotion awakens a beautiful birth can you write it on the chat awakens you heard awaken yeah. coca-cola awakens emotion excitement yes mm -hmm. sometimes even it's, nostalgia it's, pure, it's, a, it's a psychology pure oh yes when <laughs> it's a psychologist yes i remember <laughs> it's true right now have you yeah. noticed how they are also in favor of uh, social responsibility. Hmm. I think RSM. So, responsible social. I can't remember that term. MSR. I can't remember the term, the technical term. That's on the next model on intermediate four or five. I can't remember. But social responsibility is something trendy. 
it's something trendy or has been trendy for the last few years, five years, I will say, where companies are encouraged by world organizations or the world, the world business organization, I, I don't know. They're encouraging companies to become social responsible. What does that mean? Have you seen Coca-Cola commercials where a big truck of Coca-Cola gets into a little town and give kids a football, you know, Coca-Cola's free and many other things, right? That's social responsibility, but at the same time, it's a marketing strategy. And all of that makes their branding playing with our feelings for over 120 years, guys. And it has worked. We bought it. They got us into that game. So why is a marketing plan important? What kind of details will you include? We've already talked about this, but why is a marketing plan important? Keeps you in the top of the mind of the customers. Ooh, repeat, please. I love that. that to keep on the mind of your customers. Keep your product on the mind of customers as long as you can, you know, that that's totally the answer. Yeah, that's what a marketing plan does. It does. It creates this feeling of um, in the customers that they need, they need your product. Business people understand this a lot. If where there is no need, a good seller creates a need. But there yeah. is no need, a good seller creates a need. Don't believe me? Um, again, look at that movie in this module. It will be good if you look at this movie, um, the founder, Michael Keaton, the founder, the history of McDonald's. What was it in Spanish, Mr. Google? I can remember. I can remember the founder, Michael Keaton. Um, how founder. My, the founder, yes, El Fundador, but I don't know if that was the name in Spanish. But it's okay. the story of McDonald's. So I recommend you during the weekend, check that movie, The Founder of McDonald's. Watch it in Netflix. It's on uh, Netflix. In Spanish, says Hambre de Poder. Hambre de Poder, yeah. The Founder, Michael Keaton, Hambre de Poder. In English, watch it in English. Subtitles in English. Just listen. Try to understand as much as you can. And then you can watch it in Spanish if you want with subtitles in English, okay? That works. So, and you will understand why is a marketing plan important. That is a perfect example. For to, how do you create a need where there's no need? What kind of details will you include? What will you include in a marketing plan? The, the brand maybe and something that make you different from others. From the competitors, if you have competitors. Hmm. Okay, a quick example. Let's say you want, we want to sell tortillas right now. We're gonna sell tortillas, everybody. What kind of marketing plan could we come up with to come out of, as Heidi said, come out of the common. How do you come out of the common selling tortillas? Mm-hmm. We're not talking about changing the product. We're talking about the marketing. How do you improve the marketing if you're selling tortillas? That's crazy, teacher. <laughs> William wants to say something. Come on. I don't know, four per quarter of dollar. <laughs> Oh, add more than the competitors. Yeah. Okay. Hot. Give them hot. Sell them hot. Okay. Now you're thinking about the product. The pr product. What about the place? What about the promotion? 
What about the price? So this is your job right now. Just answer these two questions. Figure out, and I said, figure out a product and how would you perform a marketing plan? You know, what kind of marketing mix would you perform? Okay, figure out strategies. What details would you include in a marketing plan? Any product, I will, I will challenge you. I will challenge you to think about a crazy product, something that is unthoughtful, something that is unthoughtful like tortillas. What will I do? My father, my father sells tortillas in Santa Ana near Estadio Arquiteño. Every day, my old man is standing with a big sign, tortillas, tortillas. And you know what he did as marketing? I didn't tell him it was his idea. He's as crazy as me. My father is as crazy as me. So he started selling tortillas. He, he paid for a big sign. But since he has a big belly, you know, my father is a little bit chubby he bought a huge hat like the cipitio okay <laughs> he bought a huge hat and he's selling tortillas there because of the sun right the sun is too strong so he bought this big this big hat and he's there selling tortillas and he sells a lot the guy's <laughs> making money now <laughs> due to his creativity so that was an add-on you know it was really good. Number two, he improved the quality of his tortillas. I mean, my father washes the, the corn, you know, when he boils the corn, he washes the corn so well that his tortillas, her tortillas are so white, very white and delicious. That's really good. He doesn't use mixed tamal or I don't know how you call that thing, maseca, right? He uses natural corn and he has a lot of um, customers now so ideas creativity come up with a product follow the four p's follow the four p's but focus on your customer i want to see how good you are creating a product plan a marketing plan for any product a difficult product let's see if you can do it Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I didn't like that. Wait a minute. Oops, I did it again. I play with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it was my mistake. Wait a minute. I see. Oops, I did it again, Salima. There you go. Let's go. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What product do you think about? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Tortillas, crazy corn. What do you think about that crazy corn? Crazy. Yeah, lot, lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. yeah, okay. Crazy. A crazy car. Mm -hmm. uh, Our option. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah. Go. Cool. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Teacher, we have to use the four P's. Okay, you right. That's right. I'm about to text you about it so you can follow point number two on page 24. Page 24. Okay, let me check. Crazy corn, Saria. If you want, guys, if you, if you have another option, tell me. Tell us no, for me to do. If you, if you want to improve or you want to increase your your sales okay. yeah i think uh say you you know the importance of the marketing plan you can more efficiently achieve the strategic objectives of the company the marketing plan I think is the way forward to achieve those goals uh, the strategy and technique for the best use of the company resource resource and an anal anal analytical yeah analytical study of the market. Uh, with um, with all this information and proportion excuses 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 to return on investment in make uh, in less time I think um, William what do you what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, in my opinion, um, having a marketing plan can help you to identify your target market and how your product or service can benefit. Identify how you might attract new customers and encourage your existing customers to continue purchasing your product or service. Um, you may use page 24 exercise two if you want to have some guidance on what we're doing, right? Now, picture, picture a product, picture a product, any product. Agree, agree together on a product. If um, the challenge is to select a difficult market, in terms of the product. And number two, orient the four Ps towards your customer service. So a difficult product. Oh my God, I just thought about mango with al washte and chile. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> mango nieve. No, 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 mango maduro. With oh. chile and oh. washed and cheat and I don't know. Oh my god, everybody's like mm. <laughs> sorry guys. I don't know. That could be a product. What do you think? Minutas. Oh my god. So, de corona. Man, they're so expensive. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, you used to get like 25 for I don't know what. A dollar, right? Twenty-five for a dollar. Now you get like what? Ten? If you're yeah. lucky. If you're lucky. You're lucky. Huh? Uh, you seven. 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 Eight. seven it's, for it's crazy, and they're so delicious. Oh my god, I'm getting hungry. Okay, that's that's the idea. Keep it up. Reliever. Wait. Okay. Delivery is that 
episódio. Ok. Oh, so John, Johnny's having problems with his connection. Yeah. Turn off the camera, Johnny. Turn off the camera. Like me. <laughs> there okay, you go. another question. Where will you sell your product? Retail, retail the stores, online, etc. <laughs> Teacher, are we store. all going to talk about tortillas? No, no, no. Come up with a product. Come up oh, with okay. a product. Uh, I was giving the previous group an example. Ready? Mango maduro with chili, al guaste. Oh my God, lemon. Oh, God. What would you do to improve? I know. I don't know, to position that product, you know, using the four P's, what will be the place? What price will be the best? What promotions can you offer? Mm -hmm. What services? We're going to create our-, our, our <laughs> The package. Fried yuca. <laughs> yuca, fried yuca. National products, good job. Chuco, right? Yeah. <laughs> what would, no, but how how would you feel if you were offered chuco not in a in a morro? That's I don't know in a package. You know, it will it will lose its I don't know authenticity. Um, that's really weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, but that's the point. Figure okay. out, figure it out. You can do it. Let me know if you have any no questions. Got, no <laughs> Why not? Why not? They're delicious. Good job. Okay. Saturday, I ate no <laughs> Really? Yeah. Stop, stop bragging, Miguel. <laughs> no te la piques, Miguel. Stop bragging. <laughs> <laughs> there, I know, I know. Oh my God. I'm getting hungry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Think about our product. Okay. Okay. The marketing plan is, is right in record. Just choose. Okay. Just choose. Ah. Remember, we're talking about the marketing mix, right? It's the same marketing plan. Uh, so you can base um, your study on page 24, exercise two, you can share your screen come up with a product that is already on the market. I was giving the example to previous classmates about chuco, cocotes, mango, right? Choris. 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 Why not? Yeah, that's a good idea. But agree, agree on, on the product, you know, and apply the four P's to that product. Thinking of how would cool. you... Example of auto, no? And remember that your main goal is to position the product, but with good customer service, okay? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, the Michelada, the make is the, the beer. And I, I say, what? Uh, what is the flavor with the michelada, but with uh, rum? And my husband said me, I don't know, but tequila, I, 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 I um, improved the tequila. Uh, and I think the tequila with tacos, and it's the name, el tequilazo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I say, I say you, um, well, when the people uh, sell, sell me, sell me the tree or the tacos, maybe we can give one shot the tequila. And yes, and the name is El Tequilas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... Wait, are you thinking about tacos or tequilazos? 
No, no we no. are talking about uh, uh, tacos, but with a, with a promotion. But mm. under tacos, you can uh, have a shot of tequila. Mm. It's a promotion. A tequila shot. Tequila shot. Yeah. This in shot. my in my in my taqueria teacher. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Tacos de trompa is. <laughs> it's for funny. the for the wake up the how do you say paladar to awaken hey, hey come on you were doing it to awaken your taste you are to awaken your taste. to awaken your taste to awaken your taste okay so you got the product now let's use the four piece you have page 24 exercise two if you want to guide yourselves with this um, exercise, exercise two on page 24. It has the four Ps, step-by-step. Step. You can define the price, the place, the promotions, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to share. Truck. Mm -hmm. I was no sé mm -hmm. uh, ser social uh, media. Is paper. Mm, paper. Objetos volantes. Oh, oh, eh, <laughs> flyers. 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 Oh. flyers and social media. Social media. <laughs> what is the product? Crazy corn? Yes. 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 <laughs> That's the product. Mm. Target. <laughs> and target customers, the you say students, children. Uh -huh. children's. Yeah. Children. Okay. But we have a, a pending question, uh, number six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, where will you position your product to catch the eye of your target customers? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a difficult one. <laughs> uh, but you say that out of the universities and schools. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Eso estaba pensando yo ya lo vi así ya lo vi así que hasta cuchara le dan a uno para que se lo coma copia mexicana es esta solo en, en México se lo come así pero sabe rico allá aquí no sé aquí también and we have the Number question number two, we have to answer to. What does your product do? Uh -huh. What does your product do? Yes, it's a product. Um, Para a conocer el arte culinario de nuestro país. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
sí, la verdad es que está bien interesante. Sí. Les estaba sí. diciendo de lo del mango, de a los ocotes. Híjole, los nuegados, decía alguien por ahí. Yo les decía, ¿y qué se sentirá? ¿Cómo te sentirías si te venden chuco ya, ya en un depósito y aparte los frijolitos y todo? En lugar del, de, del morro, ¿verdad? No sé, ahí sí me sentiría raro. El sabor cambiaría. Ajá. Sí. Porque es algo muy, eso sí es bien tradicional de nosotros. Comer el chuco en morro. No tienes chistes, te lo dan Ajá. en plato plástico. Es como... Ah, sí, ¿eh? <risa> Creo que a Sandra no le gusta el chuco. No. A mí el atol de lote no. no. Está rico. Ay, yo sabía, yo a todo el mundo le gusta, menos a mí. Tengo que estar de mucho buen humor para, para probarlo. Creo que fue porque de pequeño lo probé así ácido y no, dije no. Ah, sí, lo habían hecho mal. Ok. Ok, keep going, guys. We're almost done. Ya casi terminamos. Okay. Okay. So, so finally get a enchilada, get a free enchilada, or get a, get a free soda. I think it's a combo. A combo de of enchilada and soda. The other one is a, a, a big combo. Because you can you can get 10, but you are going to pay just nine. Mm -hmm. It's a good option. A familiar combo. Mm -hmm. Place San Salvador. Mm -hmm. San Salvador. Uh, uh, Somewhere in San Salvador. Yeah. I guess the because it's a uh, typical food. Maybe it's typical, typical good, food. Typical what are you? Food what are we? What are we cooking? Pepsi chicken. Pepsi chicken. Pepsi chicken. <laughs> what? Pepsi chicken? No, Pepsi chicken. chicken. Enchilada like chicken. It is ah. a new product. Crazy chicken. Crazy chicken. Hmm. I'm, I'm eager. Oh, another word. I'm eager to hear about your product. I'm anxious. Anxious to hear about your product. In you. I'm eager. eager. I'm eager to see you. I'm eager to eat pizza. I'm eager. <laughs> That's a very beautiful word. It's a different, a different word to use instead of anxious, you know, or excited. Eager. But it's not more common. It's very or... used by Americans, but it's not common, you know, when you're it's learning. Like a, it's like to say, I am hesitant. I'm thrilled. Eager. Eager. Ansioso, guys. And patient. Mm. And patient. Anxious. That's eager. I'm eager to see you. Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're almost done. Okay. Sorry, but. Come on, Johnny. Negros, presentation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or Negados never run away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That's a good uh, jingle. That's a good jingle for your ads. Or, or <laughs> Negados never run away. Awesome. 
Okay. How how you doing? Are you ready? No. Not yet. Not okay. Yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're missing four minutes. We can okay. do it. Which one? Where will you position your project to cast the IOS through Tiger Custom? I'll share this three corner. This is the same nearby universities, near call centers. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. The five is a re teacher retail stories like a detail, like a carrito, right? Uh, it could be a food truck. Yes, um, like a truck truck. Okay, yeah. perfect. Be careful because this number six is very tied to number five. Yes, it's almost the yeah, same. It's, well. it's almost the same, but uh, if you have a, a food truck that will cover both questions, right? Where on the street and where will you position your product on a food truck? Mm -hmm. With a lot of signs, right? Or a food truck. What, what are you selling, by the way? Fake chorties. Uh, fake chorties. Fake chorties. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, imagine a food truck with the shape of a chori. Mm -hmm. A food truck with the shape of a chori. Yeah. Of a chori. Yeah. I, I heard there was a guy around TP, Jocelyn, around to the performance selling um, choris argentinos. But pibes. The, the pibes, yes. He, yes. He used to um, put chorizo instead of salchicha on, on the chorizo. Yes, it's chorizo. Mm -hmm. Some people liked it. What I didn't like is that he used to put uh, carrots, put carrots instead of, you know, other things. And it was really odd. Yes, I can see that. Where there was a lady with a food truck, Pibes, Panes maybe, Pibes. Maybe he expanded the business, but he started in TP. I was crazy a long time ago, like five mm -hmm. years ago. First got, hopefully he, he made it and he expanded his business. That was really good. Okay. Good, good. We're almost done. Okay. Sure. Okay. Live near the restaurant. You want Okay. Live, live. Near. And economic, media economic, media class, media class, economic, class, class and media for the Yes, Mito. Ah, 
I see the value is plus medium. Um, yes, it's correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Uh, it's correct. It's correct. But that we, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're using class media. Could be, uh, no, this is no, this, sorry, this is correct. Media class or up for economic middle class so, and above. Oh, yes, medium class and plus middle class and up or middle class and above? Yes. In above. And above. Okay, guys, it's time to go back. Take a screenshot. If you didn't modify your PDF, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, that is the uh, word. Oh, awesome. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's just wait for the others. This was very interesting. This was really interesting. Everybody was talking about their product, going crazy on how to do it. I think you're learning something about marketing, the four Ps. Someday this will be very useful, don't you think? Sure. I think. Uh, well, you could you could tell, right, Haiti? Um, I think there's every day more entrepreneurs in El Salvador, right? Are what do you, you think? Have you created a, a line of for small business, emerging business, I should say? No, not, not yet. Really. That's an opportunity, I will say. For your target segment. Yeah. Okay, this time we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna go backwards. Hey, I, I told Jocelyn's group, or no, uh, Suleyma's group, about a word that I remember, eager, excited, anxious, you know, I'm eager, I'm eager to hear about your products. So we're gonna start backwards today. We're gonna go backwards. The reverse, mommy, the reverse. Okay, backwards. <laughs> okay so group number five four three two one really quick you only have two minutes per group okay two minutes per group just one of the group if you want let him talk about the product and the ideas okay and then you support him group five room five Irwin, Josue, Juan Francisco, Roberto Luis and Wendy Patricia ready all yours Wendy, could you uh, present that product or your business? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the product uh, is uh, the, tac the taqueria business. Uh, no. Taqueria <laughs> business. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, number one, you get to give to product new brand name. What name do you choose? Is el tequilazo. Uh, what does your product do? Is taco order. The price, uh, how much does your product cost? Is $3 the, for order. And will you use any special price strategies? Uh, the promo the promotion uh, of sale is taco order uh, plus the tequila shot. Well, when people uh, sell the three order the tacos, uh, we give to one shot the tequila. And the place where will you say your product uh, is retail store and online. And where will you position your product catch, you, catch the eyes of your target customer? 
is BC Street Corner. And the product service, uh, the final is how will you advertise the product? Is social media in store advertising with banner? Uh, who is your target customer? General customer near to the restaurant, but uh, for promotion, should to be uh, 18 years old because it's the tequila. And men and the woman, the women, middle class and up. Is the is the word only that? Okay, good. Um, really quick. Um, so I will consider the price, you know, because when you, at least me, when I see a product for not as expensive as others, I go like, mm, maybe it's not that good, right? Because an order of tacos in, um, I can't remember the Leaps tacos. I can I remember know. the name. <laughs> I always forget the name. But those tacos at Leaps, you know, they charge like almost five dollars the order like oh for, really for something yeah and they're the like the most famous tacos in san salvador i guess um so the price i will increase the price a little bit and number two i forgot what i was about to tell you 18 years and out and above yeah tacos the order i mean the tequila shot is just for people people 18 years and above and that's it. Good job. Good job. Tacos, tacos with tequila, with a tequila shot. Because the people uh, went sell three orders. Wait, buy. They will buy. When buy, people buy. buy sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Buy mm -hmm. three orders. Uh, they get the free tequila shot. Yeah. I got you. That's a good catch. Good job. Let's go with group number four. Fernando, José Antonio, Luis, and Jocelyn. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, teacher. Well, we were discussing with the guy about a uh, two our uh, product is pay choice. Okay, our message is better quality, better ingredients, like a gourmet, a gourmet choice. Sorry. Okay, our new brand or our new name will be Paychoris, as I mentioned before. And what does our product do? Well, our product does, uh, this is a junk food for young people and people in general love junk food. Uh, what about the price is just $1 as everything right now. Okay, the special strategy that we will follow is that we will provide for frequently customer a car and we will provide a sticker uh, for every uh, every time they visit us. And when they get the tennis sticker, we will provide five shorties for free. And our target customer is the general people. We will be outside universities, outside call center, people who is in a hurry that, uh, you know, they, they don't have time to go to a restaurant, see the menu and they don't have less time to eat something. This is our type of clients. That's it. It's done, yes. Okay. Missing. Yeah, your target customer. No, that's okay. Hey, I forgot. That's what I was about to mention to Wendy. What does your product do when you talk about food? What does your product do? Oh. It's very quality. Uh, no, what does it do? What does your product do? When you're talking about food, guys, your product satisfies hunger. Hungry. Hunger, your hunger. Hungry. <laughs> right. yeah. That's what it does. Very good. Okay, hey, fake choris. The name fake choris. Hmm. Irony sometimes works on marketing. Irony sometimes works on <laughs> marketing. It's true. Okay. Good job. Okay. Hey, I love the sticker idea. I love the sticker idea. I mean, getting a sticker for your car. 
Yes, for frequently customer, and we will provide five choris for free when they get the ten stamp. It's like I'm a chori, fake. <laughs> okay, every time that you can visit us, and you will provide the car, we will place some stamp. Awesome. Okay, I'm getting one. Okay, next number three: Alexander, Heidi, Johnny, and Michael. Last group. Have not enough time. Not enough time for all that I want to hear. Not enough time. What do you think? Should we leave it there and tomorrow we continue with the other three groups? Yes. 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 Got it. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'll go with what you say, but you have to bring you have to bring a drawing. Bring a drawing of your product. <laughs> with crayons and everything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do that. Okay. Bien. Comercial antes de terminar nos queda un minuto antes de pasar el listado. Señores, practiquen. Saben que en redes sociales, no sé si así en inglés corporativo en, um, en Instagram, pusieron un meme y, y me hizo pensar mucho, la verdad. De verdad, de verdad. Este, el hecho de que tenés que practicar afuera. Ok, eh, nosotros hacemos todo lo que podemos por hacerte hablar, pero si tú no, no haces algo por practicar la gramática, porque a este punto ya la gramática ya, ya es más compleja, vas a empezar a ver cosas más complejas que se salen de los 12, 13 tiempos gramaticales básicos, right? So, es de practicar lo que ya viste, no lo soltes, agarrar, volver a empezar desde lo básico, si sentís que te está costando entender practicar muchísimo ¿eh? y escribirme si necesitas algún consejo que ¿okay? yo estoy para apoyarte en todo lo que pueda dinero no tengo pero igual te puedo ayudar en lo que puedo ok good job guys espero que descansen me llega la actitud con la que han empezado el lunes señores don't lose it ok i'll see you tomorrow at the same time a la Susana Cáceres Mendoza present you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto present Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Johnny. Okay. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Right, lobby. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Juan, Fres Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Nos quedamos. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Chris, Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good Thank night. Thank you. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Mr. Orgueta. No quiere dejar Carolina. No se quiere. No se quiere desconectar Carolina. No nos quiere extrañar, dice. <laughs> ok. Ok. So, first time, right? La primera vez que estamos en una reunión, right? Ok, bienvenido. Estas reuniones son bien raras. En estas reuniones usted me tiene que hacer 25 líneas del tiempo gramatical que más le cueste, ok? Vamos a agarrar un lapicero y un cuaderno. No, mentiras. No va a creer, Luis. Su micrófono. A ver, eh, 
Bienvenido. Nosotros, bueno, yo acostumbro en estas sesiones de 10 minutos a abrirlas cuando es la primera vez eh, uh -huh. con uh, dos preguntas bien sencillas. La primera, eh, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés? Si es primera vez que está estudiando y si es con inglés corporativo que ha sido la primera vez. Y número dos, eh, ¿qué estoy haciendo? ¿Qué estoy haciendo aparte de recibir las dos horas para aprender inglés? Fuera de la clase, ¿qué hago durante los días? Ok. Bueno, la primera había estudiado antes, pero hace bastante tiempo, como alrededor de 10 años. De hecho, ya estuve en la Academia Europea y ahí, no sé si lo podía mencionar, o ya estuvo. <risa> eh, y pues estudié ahí, que llegué a nivel avanzado, pero 10 años atrás, va. de ahí no lo practiqué. Y por eso es que me, me costó un poco ahorita retomar el... El, el ritmo, porque de hecho en, 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 caía a, como un, un módulo, creo que hice del, del, del básico y después de una vez a intermedio, ¿verdad? Y solo porque no había espacio en intermedio cuando, cuando empecé con, con el corporativo. Uh -huh. Y eso fue lo que me costó ahí como que, como que un poquito. ¿Te sirvió de algo, me imagino, reforzar un poco? ¿no? Rep repasar, claro, porque uh -huh. esto es, o sea, Todavía a veces la piscucha ahí con el where y el was, a veces, o, o esos, lo, lo, los tiempos. Eso. Ajá. Um, y lo otro, eh, pues trato de, de, de ver, de hecho ahí tengo un par de páginas, o sea, nos ha dado un par ahí para estar consultando y tengo por ahí una, porque sí siento que me, me cuesta un poco el listening. Entonces a la teacher anterior le, le, le pedí que me, me apoyara, me pasó un link de una página para estar escuchando conversaciones. ¿verdad? Entonces eso es lo que estoy ahorita tratando de hacer y, y más o menos ahí repasar en la mente eh, lo que voy viendo, ¿verdad? haciendo clic con el trabajo, con mi trabajo. ¿En qué trabaja Luis? Trabajo de en contador, ¿verdad? Social. No, 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 pero, no. Eh, trabajo en una empresa industrial que se dedica a fabricar empaque flexible, se llama Sigma Q, por cierto. Ya, ya y... sé, Sigma Q. Ya, ajá. ajá. Ahí y soy jefe de planificación ahí. Wow. Qué difícil. Más o menos. Bueno, en eh, estos tiempos más. Eh, ¿Sí? ¿Tiene más demanda? ¿Se les ha incrementado la demanda? Sí, un poco. Eh, pero el tema de lo, lo que hemos estado viendo de temas de logísticos, eh, eso es el dolor de cabeza ahorita. Uh -huh. El headache. <ríe> Porque sí está sumamente complicado. Todo. Es eh, mundial, pues, el tema. Por el material, la materia prima les está costando, supongo. Mm, correcto. correcto. Qué, qué injusto, ¿verdad? Realmente al final el empresario, bueno, quien tiene su empresa, me imagino que ha de ser difícil sentir este bajón porque los precios al final se, de transporte se, se fueron se por disparan. las nubes, se dispararon. Mm. Bueno, será una lección por aprender. Hey, esos links, lo que tenga, compártaselo a los compañeros o, o si usted cree que algo les va a servir, porque sí, hay bastantes compañeros que, como usted dice, necesitan nivelación. Pero igual, uh -huh. todo es cuestión de cada uno, ¿no? Eh, listening, atacando listening con audio, sí, totalmente, eso está súper bien. Eh, parece que les pasé una página que se llamaba Lyrics Training, ¿verdad? No sé si le gusta uh -huh. la música. Sí, sí. De, de, de hecho, sí, me gusta bastante. Ajá. Eh, no, no quizás en, en otro módulo, porque no, no. al menos en el chat no he visto. Ajá, en el chat no, no, no se los he pasado. Hay una Ajá. página que se llama lyricstraining.com y esa cosa, eso sí, cuidado, es eh, que es adictiva. Ajá. De verdad, esa cosa es súper adictiva, sí, algo así creo que sí. Lyricstraining.com eh, Puede bajar la app en el teléfono, de hecho, y el chiste de esta app me lo pasó una doctora de inglés una hermana de la iglesia que es buenísima y a mí se me pegó por unos meses de verdad estar solo en eso practicando tienen una amplia biblioteca de música música reciente, música vieja y el chiste es que bueno primera opción ver, ver el karaoke la letra de la canción uh -huh. segunda opción ya nivel básico, nivel intermedio, nivel avanzado, usted tiene que ir llenando los gaps en la letra y la, mientras que está reproduciendo la canción y el video de YouTube, usted va viendo la letra abajo. Si usted se pierde y elige la que no es, se detiene la canción y hasta que elige la que es. Y le va dando un puntaje. Ah, Eso es súper interesante es porque, o sea, si a uno le gusta la música, ¿verdad? 
y para ir adquiriendo vocabulario, eso, eso sirve muchísimo. Eh, en cuanto a, a, a atacar esas dos cosas, el listening y adquirir más vocabulario, al final, en todo el proceso de aprendizaje, lo importante es adquirir vocabulario. Hasta yo, yo siento a veces que me, me falta vocabulario, por eso a veces me pongo a leer algún libro o algo, que es un, algo que a mí me funciona. A muchos les funciona leer algo interesante. Eh, good, súper bien. ¿Y en el trabajo le está sirviendo el inglés en algo? Sí, de hecho, por la misma dinámica del trabajo. Eh, lo perdí, Luis, creo. Creo que perdimos la conexión. Hola, Luis. Hola, Luis, me parece que lo perdí. <ríe> 